Welcome back everyone to another video and this marks the start of a brand new series that I shall be carrying out here on the Scott Vance channel. So I am going to be starting a series where pretty much I react to my subscribers music. Very simple, very straightforward but it's going to be something very interesting because we will hopefully be seeing and hearing some very very underrated tracks here. And this was a series that I have been planning on doing for a while now and I'm glad to finally get the ball rolling, you know. So the first ever tune that I will be hearing in this series is coming from D Vision, and this is called Isolation. So this has 48 views. So to be honest, like, we could be seriously, like, uncovering some absolute bangers here that might, you know, uh, throw some exposure to the artist's work. So D Vision, if this is a banger, I want to see those views skyrocket. I mean, obviously I won't be able to, you know, put that much attention on it, but if it's a banger, then I'm sure a lot of you guys will go and check it out, right? So here we go. Let's see what my subs have been cooking up. Now this could be anything from EDM to hard style, raw style, hardcore. Like it could be any sort of dance music. Start off with some nice vocals. And there's a drop coming, okay? It seems like it will be quite nice and relaxed. Oh. Oh, well, maybe it. Oh, I don't know what sort of vibe this is giving me now. It might be a bit different to what I'm thinking. Oh! Holy sh. Okay. Maybe a switch up. Ooh. That is a nice start, you know? And it's kicks like that that I've always said are really like satisfying to me. Because it's just so smooth. He's got something else coming here as well. This is actually so good. Pickles as well. Okay, that is it for the first full drop. And you know what? I am loving this, to be honest with you. I'm gonna rate these tunes out of 10, by the way. And I'm not gonna lie. Like, I will be... If I don't like it, I will say that, you know? I'm not gonna hold back. Because, like, constructive criticism is always good. Back to the nice vocals. But yeah, after that first drop, I'm actually surprised. And here we go again. Oh, wait. Okay, so he's bringing on a melody here. Nice. Fucking hell. Yo, this has 48 views. What? Because this actually does seem really professional. That is mad. Lovely build up. Into the second drop we go. I wonder if it'll be any different or like keep it sort of same, the same style. Oh! So it's a really nice kick yet again, but obviously the melody is, is in there this time. Oh, the kick rolls as well are really nice. And that's a bit of a different kick there. Each type of kick he's used here and he's created is so fucking satisfying to me. Oh! He does love using the kick rolls. That's for sure. And he uses them well. That was actually incredible, is that it? There's, there might be something else as well. Oh yeah, we got like another minute. A bit over a minute. But I am like pleasantly surprised, you know? I wasn't too sure how this was gonna go. But this guy knows what he's doing. The melody is so nice as well, so 
This is Banyan. Third drop as well. Wait. Oh! That wee fake drop was nice. Oh, there's something else. I'll just finish off the bag. Pickles are perfect as well. There's that deeper one. I can't even say a bad word about this song, like at all. There's nothing about it that like disappoints me. Alrighty then, so overall out of 10, remember I am gonna be strict with this, but this song here, for me, is getting a 9 out of 10. It's actually mad because, I don't know, like, I just assume that, like, these songs aren't gonna be that great. But, like, this is just a perfect opportunity to really, like, expose people in a good way. Uh, because no matter how many subs you have, no matter how many views your tunes are getting, they could be so good and they just haven't been properly discovered yet, so this is an example of that. It's a very high-end track in my opinion, and I would like to see this this view counter right here go up. So if you could all go and show him some love, that would be insane because he definitely does deserve it. Look, one, one subscriber, my guy. This, this man needs to pop off. So we're gonna move on now to the second- <laughs> hate SoundCloud. <laughs> Nearly had a heart attack while we move. How do you fucking work this shit? Fuck, bitch. Fuck. Okay, there we go. So this is Juice Masters and he is remixing a song here called MTC by Searle or S3RL. So, uh, <gasps> We got a bit of a remix on our hands here. All right. I've adjusted the volume to an approach. I think my new chair broke. Anyways. <laughs> this is gonna be fast though. Maybe about a French core. Actually, well it says here, juice core. It's a new genre. All right. I'm feeling this one. Loving the the BPM. Why well, do I feel like I recognize this? Do, 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 do. Maybe, have I heard this OG tune? I don't know. Anyways, this is definitely a fast paced one, so come on. Melody. Whoa! Now that is good. That is sounding very professional. And build up. Loving these comments. Alright, here we go. The first drop. Give me that fast paced goodness. Ooh. Our Swiss is kind of like French core, but not as Frenchy, you know? I think that matches the same BPM. Around 200. And. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, thanks for stuff. I wonder if there'll be any like mad switch up. If someone like does that, then that's getting some points for sure. Would any of my subs out there be bold enough 
to create a map switch up at the end. You can see the audio levels, like they go up towards the end. They go Oh, here we go. We pause for the melody, and then, again. Okay, the drop will be where it peaks, so. Yeah, or not. Oh, it's, it's coming out. Oh no, he's actually extending right the way out. Okay, that's a good way to build the height. And, no, this is the last piece of the build up here. Oh, uh huh. Alright, so it is similar to the first drop. But it's still a good drop, nevertheless, of course. Again, this is a very professional sounding track, so in my opinion, this will get a high rating, definitely. Yeah, overall, basically number. Oh, one the outro, yeah. So overall, this little tune here was very fast-paced, very upbeat, happy, positive, nice vibes, and a nice sounding track in general, you know? So overall, I would give this one a solid 7 out of 10, yeah? Because it ain't too good for me. But it's still, like, good enough, you know? Okay, so up next we have Phil Smith coming in with this tune called Hell. Not a very nice place, I've heard. And this is featuring Steely Vibe as well. So we got two people working on this one right here. Now, to be honest with you, by the name of the song, it could be very aggressive, could be very dark and demonic. This is a song from down in hell. How I got here, it's hard to tell. Oh, no, no. It's burning hot all year round. Screams and yells are the only sounds. That's not too good. My as guy. my imagination is stirred, my mind goes crazy and my vision blurred. <gasps> Bubbling lava and that toxic smell. Someone's burning in this living hell. Oh. Whoa! What? Okay, powerful melody. I did not expect that. That was a fantastic melody. And the first drop is coming, so here we go. We are going through the tunnel of doom. Tell me something else. I need to talk about this. Okay, now we gotta stop this for a second. It's all happening so fast, which is good. There's a lot going on here. But that first drop, right, when he came in with the high pitch kicks, you know, that's not my style really. Everyone knows I'm not too much of a fan. Um, yeah, that was interesting. The kick rolls were like even higher as well with the pitch. Like, doo -doo -doo -doo. like it was, it was all right, you know. And then the switch up there. You know what the switch up there reminded me of? Either sick mode or ruler. Yeah, that definitely gave off that sort of vibe. But we're still going. The melody's here once again. Let's keep this going. Overall, it's, it's good in a lot of places. Like, it's, it's yet again sounding very professional. So what else is about to drop here? 
because this has been mad so far, so I'm expecting some mayhem. Ooh. That's a nice kick there. So this is the first tune where someone really has switched things up throughout the whole track. Yeah, there's been a good few kicks here. A few different styles. And it looks like there's something else happening. Is this like the fourth drop? Might be the third. But, so much going on. All that build up. Oh, there's something else. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. You've got to be taking the piss. How has that just happened? What? What just happened? He literally just switched things up. Like, completely. The whole vibe changed. Made me get off my chair so you know that was good. But I did not expect that whatsoever. Those freaking laser kicks coming in? Are you mad? Okay, so this track has the most variety so far. Out of the ones we've heard by a mile as well. Like this just had so much to it. So many drops, so many kicks, so many sounds. <sighs> Flippin' heck. So yeah, overall out of 10, that's getting the, the, the full marks. That's getting a 10 out of 10 because... This was absolutely insane. There was so much variety, so much going on. The only thing that I didn't like was the very first drop with the high pitch kicks, but that isn't really anything to take away points for, you know? Like, it's not like it was actually too bad to the point where it mattered. It's just that, yeah, I don't really like those kicks too much, but it doesn't mean that, like, I wouldn't listen to it. So, yeah, that's getting a 10 out of 10, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, Phil Smith, you've outdone yourself there, my friend. Like, what the fuck? So, for the final track of the first episode, we have Tigo, and this is, well, it's a collab here, DRBL and DJ Tigo, I Am Crazy. It's on SoundCloud, so I've got to turn things down here. Okay. I think I've adjusted the volume right enough. And it's a... It's a hardcore tune, for sure. It's gonna be fast, it's gonna be adrenaline pumping. I'm gonna feel this one, I know I am. Okay, that's the first build up. And? Oh no, oh the tease. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You remember that? Oh. Okay, so far so good. That hit me in the feels, that got me going, which is what I was after. Which is what I'm always after. My head sore though. This is gonna be loud. I mean, he turned up. He turned up the aggression there, that's for sure. Still pretty good. But like, terror core there, I think. 
Yeah, I mean, that was definitely an interesting switch up for sure. Overall, though, this is a strong, strong track. And you know what? It's probably got a good rating. That first drop just had me. The very aggressive middle part of the track was interesting. Yeah. Now this part is just very calm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, here we go. Alright, what does that in store for the second drop now? Will it be a bit different? Oh, that's very satisfying. Ooh. Love that build up. Oh. Alright, that is very different, so that's good variety, and... That's the best so far. Yo, do it again. Switch up again. I dare you. Okay. That sounded like... up-tempo there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Decent. Maybe something else to finish it? Nah, that's gonna be it. That's how the outro is gonna go. Okay, so this one had... Had good variety, and a lot of very nice songs. That's all you need, mate. Good variety, and a lot of good songs. And you've got your perfect tune. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it, so... What is even playing? Like, <gasps> so let me just give this track an overall rating before I leave. Started off very nicely, had me, had me hooked, had me feeling good. So that gives it some points, that's for sure. The really aggressive part in the middle was an interesting addition. Not too sure who, I, who whose idea that was, but uh, how do I feel about that? It was all right, you know. <laughs> And then to sort of finish it off, we had quite a few switch ups with the last drop. So overall, I'm giving this one a solid, strong 8 out of 10. Yeah. So that is where it does end for the first episode of this series. And overall, this was very, very good. And ex it definitely exceeded my expectations. Because again, I just thought these songs were probably just going to be like, alright. But all of them did sound pretty professional, you know. And they did have a lot to them, so I am pleasantly surprised. So drop a like on the video for me if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next 